stuff and it's typically a lot about man bashing because just like most women anytime they break up it's never their fault never they, they never take accountability everyone they broke up with is a jerk so if you start dating this woman who's hanging out with a lot of single girls she's gonna go back to her friends and everything that happens good over here you're gonna be getting undermined with over here she's got a lot of single girlfriends that she hangs out with or a lot of single girlfriends period Peace, two fingers. You can't win because there's strength in numbers and female foolishness is at an all time high and we don't need to deal with it. Avoid women that got a lot of single friends. And another thing, women that have a lot of single friends don't typically hang out with women who are in relationships or married because they themselves don't know how to be. They know single, let them stay single. She comes from a long line of single mothers, aunts and cousins. My ex-wife hit this to the mold. I love that woman, she was fine as frog's hair, but when I went, so here's some things that guys need to watch out for when they're dating, regardless of the size of your pocketbook or your dreams or aspirations. And ignore these things at your peril because just like all the great men of antiquity, the Bible, and in the past, a woman can need to help, but oftentimes, the wrong woman can throw a man completely into chaos. Start off with this one. She wants to be courted. Yep, she wants to be courted. Now I know there's some guys who are probably thinking, hey Kevin, you kind of talk like a traditional man. What's wrong with her wanting to be courted? Nothing if she's truly a traditional woman. But typically women want to be courted because they want all the benefits of traditional femininity and gender roles, but they ain't bringing none of that stuff to the table. This is just another way of asking you to simp. Very few westernized women deserve to be courted. I say it again, very few westernized women deserve to be courted. You guys fought for equality, you're my equal, you wanted equal pay, you wanted equal rights, well you need to get equal lefts. You wanted to be courted, that ain't gonna happen. We are equals, deal with it. Thank feminism one on one, your mamas and your grandmamas, this is the world. Ladies, if you're watching, understand this is what men are on the lookout for, so if you're asking some guy to court you, what do you bring to the table other than sex and debt? She's got a 90 day rule or any kind of rule like this in my opinion. The first time I hear a woman say she's got a 90 day rule, I'm out. The first time I hear a woman talk about this rule or any other kind of rule like that, I'm out. Just like the United States had a policy, we do not negotiate with terrorists. Women can be emotional terrorists. I do not negotiate with them because if you give a mouse a cookie, it'll ask for a glass of milk. She has a 90 day rule that automatically implies to me that she thinks her vagina is gold, that it's something that that gum important that I have to work, strive and earn for. I don't work that hard for anything that doesn't benefit me. Her vagina ain't it. Because if you have these 90 day rules, go out and blame all these Steve Harvey type guys who told you guys this foolishness. That is man repellent. Rule on day one, in the other 89 days, it'll be you playing with your cat by yourself. Next, she's a single mother. I'm not gonna bash single mothers or anything like that, but bottom line, there used to be a time when a woman had a baby out of wedlock, it was few and far between. And there was some shame that went along with it enough to where they didn't keep going out and doing it over and over again. Now it's a badge of honor. You as a man are worth too much and too valuable. If you've got your head on straight, you're out doing your thing, working your business, taking care of your business, you should not be forced to pick from a crop of women who've already had another man's children. You should not have to go out here and fight the world, build such and so forth to come home to a woman that you will at best be the fourth or fifth most important thing in her life. You deserve better than that. I am sorry ladies, if you've had a child, that is your responsibility. Own it. And as far as I'm concerned, stay out of the dating scene until your kids are out of the house. You made the choice to have those children, especially if you did it outside of wedlock. If you made that choice, then you make the choice to wear that scarlet letter. It's not our problem, it's yours. Guys, do not date single mothers. Do it at your peril. Next, she's a strong, independent, fill in the blank woman. For me, you have three times to say that. I'm a strong, independent, blank woman. I'm a strong, independent, blank woman. I'm a strong, independent, check please, I'm gone. Anytime that comes out of their mouth, non-negotiable in the sentence, whether it's day one or day 300. Because to me, that's an underlying issue that's waiting to burst through. A, a person who has to say I'm a strong, independent anything is none of the things she says. It's like if you find yourself having to come into your house saying, I'm the man of this house. 
you got to say you're the man of the house, there's a problem. If you watch Game of Thrones, when Joffrey says, I'm the king, and Tywin told him, any, king, any man who has to say he's the king is not the king. Strong, independent, blank, anything needs to be strong, independent, and alone. She believes that men and women are equals. We are not equals. No male and female of any species on the planet are equal. We are different for a reason. I am not going to negotiate your role and my role. If you come into this saying that we're equal, we're automatically at loggerheads because you're not a woman in my opinion. You're a female. I don't date females. I date women. Just like the men will hear what I'm saying, the males will probably throw shade. If you want a woman that you're equal, you're really giving your manhood up and I can't help you. For the guys out there who are trying to hear me, equality is not what it's cracked up to be. Typically, women want equality when it benefits them and they want to be ladies when it suits them. I don't have time for all the back and forth because I'm trying to do what I'm doing. I'm leading, she's going to follow, there can't be two captains, pick your poison, if you pick equality, you'll die a slow death. She's a big time church girl. I'm a Christian, I was born and raised in the church, I attend regularly, but big time church girls tend to come with big time church problems. There's no more hypocrisy in dating than in the church, because unless she's a big time church girl and a virgin, you're already going to have issues. Oftentimes, big time church girls try to use the Bible as a weapon against the men that they date. To hold you biblically accountable for everything that it says a man should be, but yet not hold themselves biblically, morally, or ethically accountable to anything that it says a woman should be. They'll tend to take scriptures out of context, use biblical stories for their own selfish and manipulative ends, and hit you in a place to where you really can't defend your spirituality. That is the height of manipulative, deceptive, bad behavior. I don't roll with big time church Bible thumpers for these primary reasons. If it doesn't suit you, move on. But you know the kind of person I'm talking about. She's got lots of single girlfriends. You ever see a pack of animals roaming a neighborhood? There's always a lead animal and the ones that roam. It's all a bad situation. It's a game. Single women who hang out with other single women sit around and talk about single women stuff. And it's typically a lot about man bashing. Cause just like most women, Anytime they break up, it's never their fault. Never they, they never take accountability. Everyone they broke up with is a jerk. So if you start dating this woman who's hanging out with a lot of single girls, she's gonna go back to her friends and everything that happens good over here, you're gonna be getting undermined with over here. She's got a lot of single girlfriends that she hangs out with or a lot of single girlfriends, period. Peace, two fingers. You can't win because there's strength in numbers and female foolishness is at an all time high and we don't need to deal with it. Avoid women that got a lot of single friends. And another thing, women that have a lot of single friends don't typically hang out with women who are in relationships or married because they themselves don't know how to be. They know single, let them stay single. She comes from a long line of single mothers, aunts, and cousins. My ex-wife hit this to the mold. I love that woman, she was fine as frog's hair, but when I went her family, 13 of the most beautiful women I have seen in one family, 11 of them were single. And I got to know why, because they all had that same strong, independent, blank woman strength. They all had that quintessential attitude, dysfunctional group of harpies if I ever met them. Nice enough people when you meet them one on one, but if you have a long line of single mothers, aunts, and cousins, you have generational curses, problems, and things in that family. It will rear its head sooner or later. You don't want to be around either way. The downside is this woman typically has really good sex game. So think with your big head, not with your little one. Look at the chips on the board and adjust accordingly. Don't even let yourself get sucked in. Ask some questions. Figure out what her family life is like, her family history. You're interviewing her for a job inside the corporation of you. You're the CEO. Why are you gonna bring in somebody who's gonna embezzle from the company, sell your secrets, and leave you in bankruptcy? And lastly, she's got a history of broken relationships, especially if she's an eight, nine, or 10. Eights, nines, and tens, every one of their exes were all jerks and buttholes. 
I've never ever met a woman who's upfront about their relationships in the past and say, you know what, I messed that up. I cheated on him, I hurt him, I did this, such and so forth. It's always something was wrong with every guy from high school to college to lifetime, from lifetime to college to high school to junior high to elementary. Each and every boyfriend or guy they've dated along the line was always something wrong with the men. Guys, step back from this for a second. Ask yourself, the only common denominator in all of her situations was her. If there's always a something wrong with everyone and it's not her, it's gonna be you in a minute. Avoid this kind of woman at all costs because all she knows is how to break up. All she knows how to be is in dysfunctional relationships. You're not going to come in and fix her. You're not going to come in and save her. Save yourself. Avoid her up front.